This is actually gonna take me forever. <laughs> Quick drink. Kill me now. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be decluttering my whole wardrobe. I've been seeing this going around YouTube for so long and I've been enjoying it so much. I think people are doing it because obviously we're all stuck in quarantine and we have nothing to do. So I thought I'm in my room on my own today as my sister is doing college work. So I thought why not film this and declutter all of my clothes. I'm obviously going to leave hers alone. But for those of you who don't know me, my sister share a room and we share like wardrobe space and stuff like that. So I have all of my clothes like on the floor kind of like to the side on a rail so I'm gonna go through all of that and get rid of all the stuff that I don't need because I know there's a lot of stuff there that I don't wear and probably will never wear. I do this quite often with my sister like I'll go through bits that I don't need but I think it's getting it's like literally to a point where I can't even open the drawer properly and that I've had to put some of my clothes on the floor so I definitely think that this declutter is much needed. And without further ado let's get on to the video. Okay, so this is the situation we're dealing with. So we have all of this rail, we have all of this drawer, all of this drawer, all of this drawer. And then I just have this little rail here with all of this stuff. Then I have all these piles on the floor. So I think the first thing I'm going to tackle is possibly the bottom drawer. The bottom drawer is mine, the middle one is my sister's, and then this is just like a drawer full of like socks, bras, bikinis, hats, scarves, pajamas, and pants. And this is our jewellery tray. We actually sorted this out yesterday. So if I pull this out carefully, we just have sunglasses, jewellery, random bits, earrings. We've got bracelets in here, earrings and stuff like that in here. So yeah, I do not need to do this section, but this is actually like my favourite part of the whole entire bedroom, if I'm honest. I will probably leave this one alone, but I think the first drawer we're going to tackle is this and that and then I will see how much I can fit in here. I actually have some of my boyfriend's clothes here as well in the two piles and I will just put those to the side for the minute and then if we have time I will go through this part which has got all of my like well not just mine but my and sister's perfumes, hairsprays, all that kind of stuff. This is literally just a random little thing. I've got bags, I've got my tripod thing, my airpod case, books, full of this little bag full of so much stuff. This section is actually alright, it's just got my agenda, my record player, some little bits here and then this is just where I store some of the shoes. So, let's get on with this bit first. This is actually gonna take me forever. <laughs> I need a quick drink. I am not prepared to go through all of this stuff. I really am not. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate it into piles for my boyfriend, my pile of stuff I'm gonna keep, and then my pile of stuff I'm not gonna keep. But the thing is I just don't know where to start. Like on camera it doesn't even look that bad, but like this is piled, like piled to the top so much stuff and I, I've got like 700 coat hangers I'm planning on to get on with it because I still have two videos to edit so let's go I'm stuck I'm stuck on a coat hanger oh no oh there we go Right, so I've done the pile of my boyfriend's clothes. Now, do I start with jeans? Bottoms, let's start with bottom. So I have these Primark shorts. These are like mum shorts. I didn't buy these that long ago. Hopefully I will get to wear them for summer if I go to the beach if quarantine's over in time, which I really don't think it will be. But hey ho, let's try and keep our spirits up. I have these Topshop like Joni jeans. But I don't, I have had these years, like, I absolutely love Jenny jeans and I was always that girl at school that was wearing them. Not, like, in uniform, like, not school uniform, what about? But, 
I just, I don't see myself ever wearing them. And it's that blue that I just don't think I will ever wear again. Um, it's just, coming to parts with Topshop jeans is so, like, hard because of how expensive they are. But I think it might be time to say goodbye to them. As much as I love them, I just, I don't know. I think I need to part. These are, like, some checkered, like... I don't know what kind of trousers you'd call them, like smart trousers. I love these trousers so much, the fit of them is so nice, they're from New Look, so I think I'm going to keep those. I have these dungarees from Primark, um, but I, they're too big, they're too big, uh, too small, like when I sit, I get areas and it's the most uncomfortable thing ever, the TMI, but hey ho. Um, so I think I might have to get rid of these, as much as I love them. I think I just have to buy some new ones. I have these beautiful beach trousers. They're from Primark and they're like this lace, I don't know how well you can see that, like flare. And they've got a slit up the leg and there is no way in hell I am binning those. Oh, by the way, I'm not binning this stuff. I'm actually taking to a charity shop. I don't mean to say bin, it's just first thing that comes to my mind. So don't worry, I am not going to be binning anything. I then have these. I will definitely keep these, I think. They're like, I think they're from, I saw it first, yeah, they're like waterproof, like cool trousers. I've only ever worn these once, but I need to get more wear out of them, so I am going to keep those. Sports leggings, 100% going to keep these, and I've got these for Christmas, they're Tommy Hilfiger ones, yeah, Tommy Hilfiger ones, so we will be keeping those. I'll be keeping all of these shorts, some are from Topshop, some are from Primark, I've got H&M ones, these all fit fine. I've got like these cargo ones with the buckle belt. Absolutely love these. Got some cargo trousers. I have like this little play suit. It's super cute. It's like black with little flower detailing. But I just, I don't know whether I'd, I'd actually wear it again. It is really cute though. Oh, I find this so hard. I always find it so hard to part with clothes. I do need to buy some new ones though, but I just don't know whether I want to bin it or whether it's nice to just chill in. Put that in a maybe pile. This can be my new maybe pile. I am definitely going to be keeping these jeans. They are a pretty little thing. They're like these really big oversized, I think these are boyfriend jeans. Uh, my favourite jeans in the whole entire world. Absolutely love them. So I am definitely going to be keeping these. So long high neck bodysuit you have to it's like a staple i am keeping that i have this white bandeau from primark um i've never actually worn it because it's actually pretty see-through so do i need it nah i'll put it this is will be my top no pile i have this like high neck top from urban outfitters but i don't actually wear it anymore so I think I might part ways with this one. Or would that look nice underneath something? Actually no, because it's like a grey colour. Oh my god, I'm so indecisive. This is actually a joke. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of it. It's like Primark one of a kind top. Never going to wear it again, so I'm going to get rid of that. I have this, um, like, I don't know what, jumpsuit from misguided it's like i still got the tag on i bought this like three years ago with a red one they were on special and it's got like this beautiful flower detailing it's like mesh but i've never worn it so like should i try selling it on depop or something or i, don't, I know i for a fact i am never going to wear this i don't know why i bought them i can't even remember i think it's because they were on special so i was like oh why not but i'll put that in like a sale pile uh, this is going to take me a while, so I think I might speed up the next couple, however long this is going to take me, of doing a close.
A few moments later. Right, so this is what the current situation is looking like. I have got like my bottoms and my tops and some other like little dresses. I've got my boyfriend's clothes. Um, that is a pile that actually doesn't look like a lot, but there's actually like about five or six tops and then my dungarees, a pair of jeans to get rid of. And now I've got all of this to tackle to put back onto my railing. That's just a dressing gown and underneath is just a little like silky robe and a skipping rope. Yeah, that's just for when I work out. <laughs> and then I've got some handbags underneath, handbag there and a hat. So we're going to go through all of this now and we're going to sort out the stuff that I do and do not need. First things first, I'm definitely going to be keeping my jeans. There is absolutely no doubt about that. Oh my God. So then I have like a fluffy thing that jacket that I cut. I don't actually think I'm ever going to wear that. I'm just trying to think of anything I could pair it with. Oh, that's kind of cute though. Actually, yeah, okay, so I'm going to keep that. This is a massive, like, denim one piece. I'm never going to wear that again, but I know my sister quite likes it. So I might quickly go ask her if she wants it. Okay, so it turns out my sister doesn't even know if she wants it. She does, but then she doesn't. So I'm going to shove it on her bed and she can try it on and decide if she wants it. I have like this knitted jumper looking thing, but I don't think I'm ever going to wear it. Just because of the colour of it, I just don't think I'm ever going to wear that again. I have this unbelievably gorgeous set from O Polly. It's a little like top thing with a skirt so I'm going to keep that but put it on a nicer hanger. This uh, tie up cardigan from Primark, absolutely love this so I will be keeping that. Obviously going to keep my night jumper because it's my favourite jumper in the whole entire world. I have like this Primark hoodie thing but it's actually too small for me so goodbye. Then I've got this like tie bottom Hood, like sweater thing from Primark just as open minded I use this when I'm working out for like going for runs and stuff because it's quite airy and it's cropped so I'll be keeping that right I have like this mesh like I don't know how well you can see that top I haven't actually worn it that much I might ask my sister if she wants it but I feel like with the jeans that would look really nice together so I think I, again, I'm going to have to keep it. I haven't actually had it that long, if I'm really honest. But I'm thinking about doing a massive shop for, like, pretty little things, guide and stuff like that. And then eventually I'll be able to get rid of all this and swap it with my new clothes. I have this beautiful, like, floral white dress. This is the cutest dress I've ever bought. Uh, from Pretty Little Thing, I don't think they sell it anymore, but it was like £6 and I'll be keeping that because that's my favourite dress ever. It's a new top from Pretty Little Thing. It's like a navy blue midnight blue i saw anastasia wearing it and i had to buy it because it looked really good on her and i really liked it so i wanted to try it Ooh, so definitely keeping that because that is brand new i have like this cropped gray jumper i don't think i'm ever gonna wear that it's from top shop but it's not really my type of jumper anymore got my favorite jumper in the whole entire world my arizona bright orange jumper from top shop so keeping that right i'm going to fast track the whole next bit of this because i'm going to be here for ages otherwise okay so my thing looks so much better now obviously going to try and hide my skipping rope but I got rid of quite a few things this is my pile so far there's a lot like underneath this is all going to go to the church shop so these are the pile of clothes that I now need to put in at the bottom drawer and some back on the bottom of my railing okay so my bottom drawer is now it's not the neatest but it still opens without any other drawers opening and this is the only little pile that I wasn't able to fit but overall, I think this looks nice. This is all my sister's stuff, but she actually told me the things she did and didn't want. This is my big leopard print coat, though, and I had nowhere else to put it, so just had to shove it there. So, yeah, I think I am now going to try and tackle up there. I just get my hair out of my face. I am sweating. Okay, so excuse my hair. I was, I'm was i absolutely sweating, so I've just shoved it up for a minute. It's out of the way. It's crazy, I know, but... Leave me alone.
here I've got all of my stuff from up the top of my cupboard, cubby hole, don't know what you want to call it. So, I am now going to tackle this and I really can't be bothered, but I need to have a clean room. Kill me now. Okay. Right, Tropical Express Spray. Express Spray? Espresso. Oh, it's by Impulse. <laughs> Um, there's not actually that much left, so I'm gonna put that to a side because Millie will keep that. This is my favourite spray of all time. It's the Hollister Crescent Bay. Oh, for my summer, best scent in the whole entire world. I have my Skinny Dip Just Peachy Cream Queen lotion. Oh my god, I could eat that. I'm not going to though. Um, another favourite, the Hollister Vista Cove. It smells amazing. I have this impulse body mist, but I just would never use it, so that can go in my no no pile. I then have three of my fake chances, uh, the super drug ones, because I cannot be affording Bondi fans. No, no, so I go with the cheaper alternative of super drug, but it actually works fine. So, moving on to this little bugger. So, I have my got to be glued hairspray, best hairspray in the whole entire world. Would recommend that to anybody i have the hairspray from tony and guy um you can never have too much hairspray so I'm gonna keep that um i have two of the volume plumping mousses i only need one so i will keep one and put the other one away somewhere someone else can have that i have the long wear curl hold spray from mark hill why didn't i just look at it to figure out the name um but this is brilliant for when i cut my hair so i'm gonna keep that i have the something mousse i don't know how you squash squaff that kind of thing i can't say it so we'll be getting rid of that one um i have this keratin treatment i'm gonna keep that because that's really good for my hair another tony and guy one i don't need that so we can get rid of that and then I have like these for fine hair Tony and Guy conditioner things. If you wonder why I have so much Tony and Guy, it's because I got it for a Christmas present, but I don't actually use them, so they can all go. And then we got this big bag of all of like my new Christmas stuff. So I think I'm gonna try and fit that into the thing. And it's getting really dark because it doesn't look it, but it's actually really dark outside. Because it's gone from really hot to absolute pouring down rain every single day, so. This is the best stuff in the whole entire world. It's the pink, ooh, 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 ooh. The pink grapefruit body wash. Absolutely love that. Favorite thing in the whole entire world. Done, that looks cute. And now I've got more space in this little A travel bag. So let's put it all back. Okay, so that is it all sorted. These are just a load of perfumes we have. We're not gonna be bidding any of those because these are Holy Grail perfumes and they are the best perfumes in the world. So that is sorted, that is sorted. I've kind of cleaned up this bit a bit. Um, not the best, but that bit's all right and that's all right. And then this is the whole rundown if I move my chair. So yeah, and that is the pile of cloves we are all getting rid of. And like, excuse the phone by the way, that is just in case I'm home alone and I need to call somebody. <laughs> These are all like the wash stuff we're getting rid of. So if you guys enjoyed that video, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe. And I guess I will see you next week for another video. Bye.